in this video we are going to study our carbonyl compounds and uh, their reactions uh, precisely we are going to cover introduction to carbonyl compounds we will also tackle uh, properties of uh, carbonyl compounds such as uh, aldehydes and the ketones and lastly we will discuss some examples of uh, carbonyl compounds we'll be giving displayed and the structural formulae of aldehydes and uh, ketones Before continuing with our topic uh, today, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Do not forget to hit the notification bell for updated videos. Uh, what do you understand by carbonyl compounds? What are carbonyl compounds? As you know, carbonyl compounds are compounds that contain the carbon um, uh, double bond oxygen or carbon oxygen double bond group. This group you find here is the carbonyl group in this uh, carbonyl group, a carbon atom is double bonded to an oxygen atom, and this is a polar molecule. This group is a polar as a result of uh, the difference in the electronegativity between uh, oxygen and uh, the carbon. It should be recalled that in um, in carbonyl group in the carbonyl group the functional group is found in compounds such as uh, aldehydes it is also found in compounds such as ketones and uh, um, compounds such as uh, carboxylic acids With other heights, in other heights, uh, in other heights, you will see that the, uh, the carbonyl group has at least one hydrogen attached to it. It has at least one hydrogen attached to it. Uh, one hydrogen attached to it. In this this is it here yeah. we will have a hydrogen attached to it. That is for other heights. And the carbonyl group is at the end of the carbon chain. Always notice that in other heights, in other heights, the carbonyl group is at the end of the carbon chain. But in ketones, in ketones, the carbonyl group is in the middle of the carbon chain. This is it.
That is another one. That is uh, the ketone. So as I said, the carbonyl group, which is uh, the carbon um, oxygen double bond, is an organic uh, functional group found in compounds such as aldehydes, ketones, and uh, carboxylic acids. I said that in this group, this group, the carbon atom is double bonded to an oxygen atom. In this group, the carbon atom is double bonded to the oxygen atom. So the carbon double bond oxygen, that is the group. It is found in aldehydes, it is found in ketones, and it is also found in carboxylic acids. So now, for the properties, for the properties of uh, this group, you will notice that uh, properties properties of other height other heights and the ketones. You will notice that the carbonyl group is polar, as I said. The carbonyl group is polar. This is it here. The carbonyl group is polar. With carbon having a partial uh, positive charge and oxygen a partial negative charge. This is as a result of the difference in the electronegativity. So now... The polarity in the carbon-oxygen bond will influence the properties of other heights and uh, ketones. It will influence the properties of other heights and ketones. And uh, one of the properties that is, uh, that is easily influenced by this polarity in this bond is their solubility in water. Their solubility in water. You should notice that Uh, this bond, let me uh, write it again for you to better understand. We have a carbon here. Just put it like this in this room. There's another carbon here. Let me see, there's another carbon here. We have a molecule of water here. Here we have a lone pair of electron on the oxygen. What happened here is that there is a let me see. There is a hydrogen bond that is formed here. It 
popularity of pressure positive This other side, so if you look at this uh, critically, you will see that this is this is the polarity. This is what can uh, the polarity of the carbon oxygen uh, bond in the carbonic compound can cause. Regarding their solubility in water, solubility in water. For this reason, aldehydes and the ketones of small molecular mass are soluble in water. Aldehydes of aldehydes and the ketone of a uh, very small molecular mass are very soluble in water because they can form hydrogen bonds between the, the lone pair of electron on the oxygen of the carbonyl group and the hydrogen of the water molecule. This is uh, the hydrogen bond here. Uh, hydrogen bonding formation of hydrogen bonding between water molecule um, uh, between the water molecule and uh, ketones and uh, um, other heights so generally because of the polarity of the carbonyl group ketones and other heights are very soluble in water they are very soluble in water because of their polarity and because they can form intermolecular hydrogen bonds with water molecule. But it should be no, it should be noted that as the size of the ketone and the other height increases, as the size of the ketone and the other height increases, what happens? The solubility decreases the solubility decreases due to interference in hydrogen bonding by the uh, by the hydrocarbon tails of the other heights and the ketones another reason is that as the number of carbon chain or i mean the number of carbon atoms are also increasing van der waal forces are predominate between the molecules of other heights and the ketones So that is the reason that as the, the, the molecular mass of other heights and the ketones are increasing, what happens? Van der Waal forces predominate. As we uh, as we discussed in our uh, in uh, in the in our previous video, alkyl groups are electron donating. Alkyl groups are electron donating. You will notice that alkyl groups are electron donating. For in, for instance, I want to give an example of of um, an aldehyde. This is an aldehyde here. We have an aldehyde here. This is a propanol, and we have another one here. This is propanol.
Okay. These are these are ketones. This is a ketone. This is a ketone. And this is an aldehyde. This is an aldehyde. All of them have the same molecular mass. All of them have the same molecular mass. We expect their boiling point, we expect their boiling point to be the same. But that is not the case. This is propanol, and this is um, um, propanone. All of them have the same molecular mass, and the molecular formula is uh, C, C3, H6, O. All of them have the same molecular formula. Different structural formula. They are all isomers. Propanol is an isomer of propanone. And uh, propanone is uh, also an isomer of uh, propanol. We expect these two compounds to have the same boiling point and the same melting point. But that is not the case. As we said, uh, as we said, alkyl group are electron donating. So here, you will realize that the ketone has two alkyl groups there. Donating electron on the central carbon. Here we have just one alkyl group, which is the uh, the the ethyl group, which is donating electron to on the carbon. Here we have two uh, methyl groups that are donating. It should be noted that most of the electron donated by the alkyl groups to the uh, carbonyl carbon, uh, compound are grabbed by the electronegative oxygen. Most electrons that are donated on this carbon here, that are donated to the carbonyl carbon, uh, carbon, electrons donated to the carbonyl carbon here, are grabbed, are taken over by the electronegative oxygen. So all electrons that are being donated by the ethyl group here go directly back to oxygen. Oxygen is more electronegative than the carbon. Electrons that are being donated from the two methyl groups on the on the ketone to the carbon are taken over by the oxygen there because oxygen is more electronegative than the carbon. For this reason, you will see that the oxygen atom, the oxygen atom in a ketone, the oxygen atom in this ketone here has more negative charges than the oxygen atom in the other height. I said, more electrons are donated here in the ketone than in the other height, making the ketone more stable than the other height. And it should be recalled that the electron donated to the carbon of the carbonyl group here in the ketone are taken or are drawn or are grabbed by the oxygen there. The same way, electron donated on the carbon in the, uh, in the other heart here are taken by the oxygen here. For that reason, in, uh, this makes the, uh, the carbon-oxygen bond in the ketone more polar than the one in the uh, other height. The oxygen atom, once more, the oxygen atom in, the, in a ketone has more negative charge than the oxygen atom in the other height. The oxy this oxygen in the ketone here has more negative charge than the one in the other height. And this makes 
the carbon oxygen, the carbon oxygen born in the ketone to be more polar than the one in the other heights. The dipole moment of the other height of uh, 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 the dipole moment of the other height is uh, 2.5 uh, d, and uh, that of uh, ketone is 2.9. For these reasons, we, we can now say at the height they have a higher intermolecular forces, uh, at the height have higher intermolecular forces, and therefore they are higher, they have higher boiling points and uh, melting points than uh, their other uh, than their other height of similar molecular mass. So you should better understand this. The ability, the electron donating effect of the alkyl groups on, on the ketone is the one influencing this. There are two electron donating groups on the ketone. For that reason, it makes for that reason, it makes the oxygen on the on the on the ketone having more negative charge than the oxygen in the other height. And for that reason, the carbon oxygen group in the ketone is more polar than the carbon oxygen group in the other height. For that reason, the ketone they have higher intermolecular forces than the other height. And finally, for that reason, they have higher melting point and the boiling point than the key to uh, than the other height of similar molecular mass uh you will see that electron donating effect is has a very big role to play in the property of other heights and ketones uh, then we can go to uh, displayed and structural formulae of other heights and ketones. You know, <clears throat> we will be starting, excuse me, uh, let's give examples of some uh, displayed and uh, structural formulae of uh, other heights and ketone. We will be starting with, um, uh, let me say, let me use um, ethanol. The displayed formula for ethanol is um, this one. We will have this. Uh, that is ethanol. That is ethanol. And um, a structural formula is this is the displayed formula. This is displayed formula DF displayed formula. That is the uh, uh, displayed formula. Then a structural formula will be. One C one two three they are cover three carbons CH three CHO that will be the structural formula SF the structural formula then we go to um, let me say butanol. Uh, butanol is another example of an aldehyde. Uh, the displayed formula butanol we have four carbon, one,
one, two, three, four. That is butanol. Now, this is the displayed formula. Displayed uh, formula. Now, let's go to the structural formula. The structural formula will be a CH3. Oh, sorry. A CH3. A CH2. CH2. CHO. And we um, this is the structural formula. Structural formula SF. And the name we call this butanol. Butanol. We go further to other structures. Uh, can let me give for ketone. We will start with butantuone, butantuone, or butanone. Systematic naming butantuone. So we have four carbons for the ketones. We will have one. There are four carbons. Butan two own the second carbon. Then we fill in our hydrogens. This is the displayed formula, DF. Displayed formula. And the name of this compound is the name of this compound is this is a ketone. Come on one carbon 2, carbon 3, carbon 4. And now we can now say it is butane. Butane 2. Ketones are named with own at the end. Butan two own. The carbon chain are four. We use butane. Now it is butan, butan. Then followed by the position of the carbonyl uh, group. The, the carbonyl group is on the second carbon. We now say it is butan two own. Now and the structural formula is the structural formula for this would be CH3 CO CH2 and CH3 this is SF, structural formula. Oh, I did not give name for this one here. Okay, okay, okay. Now, another example, another example for this of a ketone Another example of a ketone is um, 
Pentam 3 own. Pentam 3 own will definitely be 5 carbon atoms. Pentam 3 own, we have pent, has to do with 5. We will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Pentan 3 own. The carbon atoms are numbered in this way. From this end, or oh, from this end, this is 3. This is 1, this is 2, and this is 3. So now, we now take this to be our position of uh, our position of oxygen. So now, This is pentatrion. So that is one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now let's fill the rest of the hydrogens. We will have one hydrogen. We cannot add hydrogen on this carbon here again because carbon forms four bonds, making a total of eight electrons in the outer outermost shell. So we have already have two bonds here, plus these other bonds, making a total of four bonds. So we cannot add another bond here again. So now, what is the structural formula of this compound? The structural formula of this compound is CH3 CH2 CO CH2 and CH3 Let's name our compound This is the structural formula SF this is the displayed formula DF and the name of this compound is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Pentan 3 own you must put a dash the positioning of the oxygen the third position is 3. Then, ketones, they end in own. They are na the names of ketone end with own at the end. So now it should be pentan 3 own. Well, this is the IUPAC uh, system of a nomenclature. Well, you can call it pentanone. It's okay, pentanone is okay. First, but for systemic naming using the IUPAC um, system of naming organic compounds, you have to name it as pentan 3 own. Another example of an aldehyde uh, is an, an example of an aldehyde uh, here could be. Uh, let's give another example to be for other heights to be uh, uh, let me say 2 methyl butanol so it is 4 carbon 1 2 3 4 I said other heights the carbonyl group is always at the end of the carbon chain. You have it there. It has at least one hydrogen. 
Okay. Now we said it is two methyl butanol. The position from here, from the from the functional group, we have one, we have two, we have three. We have three. In this case, using this naming system, what we are going to do is our oxygen will be here. Our oxygen will be at this position. So our oxygen will be at this position. I mean, uh, the methyl group. It's a displayed structure, please. Okay. Three, four. Two meter bridge an hour. That is two meter butanol. Okay. The structural formula will be the structural formula will be CH3 uh, CH2 CH CH3, CHO. And uh, we call this, this is the displayed formula. And this is the structural formula. And the naming is one, two, two methyl, two methyl, one, two, three, four, butanol, butanol, two methyl butanol. So that is how you can name it. So now, these are the examples of displayed, example of displayed and the structural formulae of aldehydes and ketones. We started with ethanol. You have the displayed formula and the structural formula to butanol.
the displayed formula and uh, the structural formula. We went again to ketones. Uh, the first one is uh, butan 2 own. You have the structural formula and um, you have the structural formula and uh, the the displayed formula. Then pentan 3 own. You have the displayed formula and the structural formula. So now we went last. The last one was uh, two methyl butanol. You have the structural formula and uh, the displayed formula. So I said other heights are named using the suffix "al" and the ketones with the suffix "on." Following the same convention used in naming arcanes, but usually there is a number before the own. There is a number before the own. The, con uh, the, uh, the IUPAC convention, the International Union of Physical and Applied Chemistry convention in naming arcanes is the same uh, way. But ketones, they, uh, they are named with the suffix own. Meanwhile, the other heights are named with the suffix R. That is the only way you can name them. So a recap. A recap of our lesson today. Carbonyl compounds. I said carbonyl compounds. <clears throat> A carbonyl compound. This uh, functional group. This functional group is found in uh, aldehydes, uh, ketones, and the carboxylic acids. In a carbonyl functional group, the carbon is double bonded to the oxygen atom. And we went further to look at the properties of the uh, of aldehydes and ketones as some compounds of the carbonyl uh, uh, group. I told you that the carbon atom, the carbon oxygen uh, bond is really polar. The polarity there is as a result of the difference in electronegativity. Oxygen carries a partial negative charge and the carbon carries a partial positive charge. Now, I went further in the solubility. The polarity in the carbon oxygen bond influences the uh, some properties in this in compounds having this group. An example is the solubility of these compounds in water. These compounds, the aldehydes and the ketones, are very soluble in water because they can form intermolecular hydrogen bonds with water molecule. You can see it from the structure here, how the lone pair of electron on the oxygen is used in forming a hydrogen bond with a hydrogen atom in the water molecule. So, again, despite the fact that, again, despite the fact that they are soluble in water, I say that their solubility, again, will also decrease as the molecule become larger and larger in size. The solubility also decrease because of the interference of the hydrogen bonds or the tails of the aldehydes and the ketones molecule. Then, secondly, there is a decrease in the solubility as the molecule become larger and larger because as uh, the number of carbon chains are increasing, uh, Van der Waal forces uh, predominate. There are Van der Waal forces that are uh, that are now in control. No more hydrogen bonds. So now it took us to uh, how, even though. Ketones and uh, other heights of uh, other heights of the same uh, number of carbon atoms. They may have the same molecular formula, but there are still some physical properties that make them different. We are given an example of the boiling point, and melting points, that the electron donating um, effect of the alkyl groups on the ketone. And uh, of the other hide make this property very visible. In ketones, the electron donating effect of the alkyl groups there, as they donate electron on the central carbon, 
or the carbonyl carbon, what happens? The electrons are being taken away by the oxygen. And uh, that makes oxygen of the ketone having more negative charge than the oxygen of the other height. In other words, we are now saying that the carbon oxygen bond in ketone is more polar than the carbon oxygen bond in other heights. For that reason, other heights are the same molecular uh, mass with ketone. Or ketones and other heights of the same molecular mass have different uh, boiling points and melting points. Other heights of the same molecular mass, I mean the ketone of the same molecular mass, will have a higher boiling point or melting point than the corresponding other height. I say a ketone of the same molecular mass with the other height will have a higher melting point or boiling point than its corresponding other height because this electron donating effect makes the ketone more polar, the carbon oxygen uh, bond in ketone more polar than in the other height. For that reason, the intermolecular, uh, the intermolecular uh, forces in ketone are higher than that in other height, and that gives the ketone higher melting point, higher boiling point than its corresponding other height. Uh, we're giving an example of um, uh, propanol and uh, uh, propanone. Uh, propanol and uh, propanone. Now, finally, it took us to the different uh, displayed and structural formulae of other heights and ketones. So, you could see other heights as we said. We gave example of ethanol, given their structural formula and their, uh, uh, and their displayed formula. We also gave, uh, we gave an example of uh, butanol, structural formula and the displayed formula. Example of butan 2 own structural formula and uh, uh, the displayed formula. Uh, pentan 3 own uh, the displayed formula and uh, the uh, structural formula. So this is what we have covered today. In our next video on uh, other heights, we are going to be discussing preparation of other heights and the ketone in our next video through oxidation and other nucleophilic addition reaction. Learners, if you have not subscribed to our video, please uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, hit the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching.